life cannot just be about solving one miserable problem after another. Can't that can't be the only thing? There need to be there need to be things that inspire you, that make you glad to be to wake up in the morning and be part of humanity. Have you taken advantage of every opportunity that you've been given? Have you fully taken advantage of every resource at your disposal right now? You better wake up because this game is not going to change. This game is getting faster and this world through technology, the have and have nots, the divide is getting bigger. See, I need you to be a have. You need to be a have because you're working on a legacy right now. In fact, your children, your grandchildren, your children's children are going to benefit or victimized by your mindset. They're going to benefit or be victimized on you right now. What if I told you this was the last Monday morning of your life? What if I told you you die this week? Would you complain about your crap job or that test you don't want to take? I doubt it. You would go much higher level thinking. Well, that's really what it takes. It takes understanding that if you're not pumped right now, if you're begrudging what you're about to do, if you're, if you're not looking forward to it, look, I respect practicality. You gotta go through school because your parents want to. You gotta pay your rent. You got student loans, I get it. But please recognize the world we're living in. We're living in a world where there's so much more opportunity. This internet thing created way more opportunity for all of us, way more. You see, if you don't have a vision of where you go and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. It's like you can have the best ship in the world you can have the best airplane in the world. If the pilot or the captain doesn't know where to go, it would just drift around. It would not end up anywhere or most likely in the wrong place. The excuses are not valid. They aren't. They're trumped up. They're conjured up. They're fabricated. They're lies. And how do you stop the lies? You stop the lies with the truth. Don't believe the lies, believe the truth. And the truth is, you have time. You have the skill, you have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Today's the beginning of the rest of your life and it can be, it can be very frightening. It, it's a new world out there, it's a mean world out there and you only live once. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances. But there's joy in the process too. See, you gotta enjoy the process. You got you gotta be grateful when you're making fifty thousand. Then you gotta be grateful when you get to seventy-five thousand. You gotta be grateful at eighty thousand. A lot of people stay pissed off because they ain't a millionaire. But I got news for you: if you pissed off where you are right now, you'll never be a millionaire. You want me to tell you why? Because there is a principle of success that God requires our gratitude. The more you're grateful for, the more God will give you to be grateful for. You might be the ant, and the ant has very little, but he's determined, he's strong. He has a dream and a goal, and he'll do whatever it takes. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. Don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. And they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals. When you fail, you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser. And winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. That is a winner. Pick up your damn suffering and bear it. And try to be a good person so you don't make it worse. Start with yourself. What good are you? Get yourself together for Christ's sake so that when your father dies, you're not whining away in a corner and you can help plan the funeral and you can stand up solidly so that people can rely on you. That's better. Don't be a damn victim. Of course you're a victim. Working on a legacy bigger than you. You're working on generations to come after you. My friend, pay attention. Wake up. Are you a have or have not?
It all boils down to your mindset. So here's one key that can improve all our mindsets. We need to change who we're talking to. We need to change our atmosphere. Because if we can change that, who we're talking to, it'll change what we think about. And if we change what we think about, it will change our mindset. You can decide to be rich and with God's help, it's highly doable. But you first have to think it. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is here. If you don't love your work, you're never gonna be great at it. Um, I think the other thing I would suggest to uh, any young person, uh, even before they start their career, is to really think about their choices. Put yourself together. And then maybe if you put yourself together, you know how to do that. You know what's wrong with you, if you'll admit it. You know there's a few things you could like polish up a little bit that you might even be able to manage in your insufficient present condition. And so you might shine yourself up a little bit and then your eyes will be a little more open and then you can shine yourself up a little bit more. But I've noticed something recently. We better wake up because I've noticed people running through the airport, going places, moving fast. And this world is turning into what I call the have or the have not. Pay attention, wake up. Y'all yeah, wanna make sure that you fall on the right team. I wanna make sure that you're on the right side of the fence because we can't stop this world turning into a have or have not. And when I think about a have or a have not, it really goes back to our mindset. I don't care what you're going to do, but go out there and make something of yourself for God's sake. Be an honest person and work and get to the top of whatever it is that you want to get to the top of. Stand up for yourself like a respectable human being and be a bit of a light on the world instead of a blight. Working really hard is what successful people do. And in this text, tweet, twerk world that you've grown up in, <laughs> Remember, just because you're doing a lot more doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. Don't confuse movement with progress. So continue to strive, continue to have goals, continue to progress. Maybe it's harder for you to get out of bed. Maybe it's harder for you to, to get ready. Maybe it's harder for you to get into the gym with no caffeine. And maybe it's harder for you to start your workout with no caffeine. But once you start the workout, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Yeah. I, and if it is, good. Make your workout harder. You know, I don't yeah. think it's that big of a deal. So don't become addicted to the caffeine. And that's going to be because that can get problematic. So, so what I want you to do for me is I want you to. And I know a lot of you are adults and you, you got, you're, doing, you're adulting. And, and sometimes you don't have time for dreams and goals and stuff. But I want you to do me a favor. Like, don't let life do you like that. Like, don't let life put you in a circumstance or a situation where you stop dreaming. Like, don't let life put you in a situation where you are helping somebody else make their dreams become a reality that you forgot you have your, your own. Like, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't get so caught up giving some job 30, 40, 50, 60 hours of your day that you don't have any time left for yourself. How do you overcome the suffering of life? Is be a better person. That's how you do it. Well, that's hard. It takes responsibility. Get yourself together. Transcend your suffering. See if you can be some kind of hero. Make the suffering in the world less. It's not what makes it hard is your lack of belief that it can happen for you. The fact of it is, though, it's very doable. See, if, but you got to change though. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. I just don't get the mentality of being head down sad on a Monday morning. I'm going to make Monday morning my bitch. I'm going to make you Saturday Monday morning. That's what I want to do every morning and that's what I want from you. Please take a step back and think about how awesome it actually is. And then recognize that you can attack the world in a totally different way because you were lucky enough to be born during this era.